Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the scalloped crochet wrap. It only uses a 4 row repeat and it's a lot easier than it seems. You can also find the free written pattern on my blog and it has all the yarn and yardage information. You will need Aran or worsted weight yarn, a 6mm crochet hook, a darning needle and some scissors. To begin create a slip knot. Insert your crochet hook into the loop. Chain 4. We're going to slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. So to begin row 1, chain 2, and the turning chain of chain 2 counts as a double crochet. We're now going to double crochet into the ring. To double crochet, yarn over, insert your crochet hook into the ring, yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. Place another double crochet into the ring. You should have 3 stitches in total. We're now going to chain 2 and this forms the centre chain 2 space. And then we're going to place 3 more double crochets into the ring. At the end of row 1 you should have 6 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 2, chain 2. Place 2 double crochets into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until you reach the centre chain 2 space. Into the centre chain 2 space, you're going to double crochet, chain 2, and then double crochet. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch of the row. Place 3 double crochets into the last stitch of the row. So the last stitch of your row will be the chain 2 turning chain. At the end of row 2 you should have 12 stitches. And then you're going to repeat row 2 for rows 3 and 4. So turn your work, and then chain 2 to begin. Place 2 double crochets into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until you reach the centre chain 2 space. Double crochet, chain 2, double crochet into the centre chain 2 space. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch of the row. And then place 3 double crochets into the last stitch of the row. At the end of row 3 you should have 18 stitches. Turn your work and repeat row 3 for row 4. And at the end of row 4 you should have 24 stitches. To start row 5, chain 2. 
Place two double crochets into the first stitch. We're then going to chain four. Skip two stitches and then single crochet into the next stitch. You're then going to chain 5, skip 2 stitches, and then single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat chain 5, skip 2 stitches, single crochet into the next stitch until you're 2 stitches from the center chain 2 space. You're then going to chain 5. and then single crochet into the center chain 2 space. Chain 2 and then single crochet into the center chain 2 space. You're going to repeat the pattern of chain 5, skip 2 stitches and then single crochet into the next stitch until you have 3 stitches left in the row. Once you have 3 stitches left in the row, chain 4 and then place 3 double crochets into the last stitch of the row. In total, you should have 6 double crochets, 2 chain 4 spaces, and 6 chain 5 spaces. Turn your work, and then to start row 6, we're going to chain 2. Place 2 double crochets into the first stitch. Place 1 double crochet in each of the next 2 stitches. Place 3 double crochets into the chain 4 space. And then place 3 double crochets in each of the chain 5 spaces until you reach the center chain 2 space. In the center chain 2 space, double crochet chain 2 and then double crochet. Place 3 double crochets in each of the chain 5 spaces. Place 3 double crochets into the chain 4 space. And then double crochet into the next 2 stitches. And then place 3 double crochets into the last stitch.
At the end of row 6, you should have 36 stitches. Turn your work. And then for row 7, we're just going to repeat row 2. So to start row 7, chain 2. Place 2 double crochets into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the center chain 2 space. Into the center chain 2 space, double crochet, chain 2, double crochet. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch of the row. And then place 3 double crochets into the last stitch of the row. At the end of row 7, you should have 42 stitches. And turn your work. Repeat rows 4 to 7 until the end of row 43. At the end of row 43, you should have 258 stitches. I'm going to add a scallop border to the wrap. This is completely optional, and if you like your wrap as is, fasten off. To start the border, skip the first 3 stitches. Place 7 double crochets into the next stitch. Skip 2 stitches and then slip stitch into the next stitch. You're then going to repeat the pattern of skip 2 stitches, place 7 double crochets into the next stitch. Skip 2 stitches, slip stitch into the next stitch, until you're 2 stitches from the center chain 2 space. When you're 2 stitches from the center chain 2 space, you're going to place 7 double crochets into the center chain 2 space. Skip 2 stitches and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Repeat the pattern of skip 2 stitches, place 7 double crochets into the next stitch, skip 2 stitches, slip stitch until the end of the row. In total, you should have 43 scallops. Fasten off. 
To make this wrap look as lacy and open as possible, I highly recommend blocking it. And you've finished your scallop wrap. 